Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. So as always, a big thanks for all this uh, channel supporters, especially those of you who take the time to hit the like button and add a comment. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you. So we start with the uh, EURUSD, as always, looking at the weekly time frame. Uh, seems like uh, we have a little bit of reversal. So after this week's doji candle, we end up last week with a bullish uh, candle um, on EURUSD on weekly time frame. Going to the daily, we see that we've got this uh, higher low here which is a good sign but there was no break and close above previous highs yet so for this correction to to be a bigger correction they need to break and close above this previous high on the daily time frame uh, checking uh, further down on the four hour we saw that there was a, a brief break above previous high with this candelier that did close above these highs here and then a uh, return back down to the previously broken structure so it was break <coughs> return and uh, a little bit of a bounce which could be a sign that we might continue higher i want to i'm gonna keep an eye on this level for next week because uh, as for now if we look at the structure on the lower time frame we do have actually a nice bullish structure on this particular time frame, the one hour and the four hour. So for next week, as far as this level is holding, there is a chance that the euro might continue to the upside toward uh, the 1.20 uh, areas up here. But if they break, of course, if they break to the downside, that would mean uh, the end of this correction and uh, further downside uh, movement you see this trend line could be a nice filter for you to use so as far as the market is trading above this trend line you could say that uh, the uh, bullish correction might continue and if they break below it that will be your sign that we might get toward this uh, structure down here as a target and that will confirm this uh, little range if that would be the case okay i hope you got the idea guys uh, sterling uh, checking the weekly here as well we saw that we had a huge break to the downside below this structure and below the 200 moving average but last week was um, a bullish candle uh, an inside bar kind of candle here um, daily time frame we've got a nice bounce to the upside but for more continuation higher they need to go above this level here they need to break and enter back inside this area for that continuation as for now all we've got is a retest of a previously broken structure which which could mean um, a, a um, possible return to the downside because we ended up with a doji and then a weaker bullish candle it wasn't so strong lower time frame you see it clearly here after this uh, little break we've got a retest and then a bounce back up yet another higher low and then the price it went back here so if they manage to break above this next week i'm expecting further upside uh, toward this area as next target otherwise uh, if they fail once again to break above it we have this as a potential target. This uh, bullish uh, bearish candle now will dictate uh, a potential new range if the break does not happen. So we're going to play a range like this and uh, anything below that, uh, whoops, any break below that candle could signal uh, that we're going to return back to, to 1.30. But again, even here on the lower time frame we have a, a little bit of a micro trend which uh, is a bullish uh, trend for now uh, but uh, for more continuation higher it is clearly that we need to see a break above these structures here first usd jappy is still bullish checking the weekly we've got a nice weekly close above previous high this is um, a big deal um, a strong signal that we might see con further upside on this market even though it's been moving strongly to the upside so you see we've got still a very very nice bullish momentum each time it happens but also to keep in mind that when the correction start happens it takes several weeks a month is to make the breakout so as you see here we've got these then 
see many weeks of corrections same happened here uh, so we will see but all in all a good signal for the bulls that there is potential continuation there was a slowdown and i was um, saying that we might see a correction i still uh, think it is uh, potentially time for a bit of correction we still have a huge bearish divergence coming here um if this start to be uh, looking like an um, an ending wedge if it goes like this as for now it is just a, a channel but if it start going like this making uh, something like that i'm uh, thinking of potential uh, correction to happen here they need to play these price levels once again when the price moves uh, quickly but again, if they still holding above the uh, 118.50 area, we might still see further upside anyway. So be careful on this one, but it is strongly bullish for now. Aussie checking the weekly on this one. Also still a nice bullish candle here after a little bit of a correction to the downside. We got once again uh, a break and close above previous neckline here. I don't see... Um, any trouble on the way unless they reach these levels here now as a potential target going to the daily we see that we are back above the 200 moving average did break and close above this previous high targets next is uh, up here or this stop here so now they are trading above the 200 moving average which is good um, so um, for our uh, as you see we uh, got a mirroring move with a break above this level here there was an attempt to keep pushing higher to tag these previous highs for next week i would say this area here down here or at least uh, back toward this area to then look for potential bounce higher so as for now we have a bearish divergence here maybe time for a, a bit of correction and if if it does that keep an eye on this level for a potential bounce in continuation USDCAD bearish um, checking the weekly on this one you see that um, after uh, so many attempts to break higher they failed and the correction was to the downside checking the daily sitting at the 200 moving average did tag the previous lows here might continue lower toward the neckline here of this double bottom as you see we've got double bottom and then uh, the market is now going back to retest that neckline checking the four hour you see that we've been moving a lot without any corrections so i want you to keep an eye on this level where we have the trend line and we have this previous uh, structure of both resistance and support this might be uh, the bearish target before uh, we start seeing some kind of a correction to happen here on this one and usd chief there was a break out of the range on the daily and the weekly uh, sorry on the daily but on the weekly we've got um, a return back inside the range so checking the daily you see that we've got this break higher to then seeing the price going back inside the range and i think the target to the downside at least would be this neckline here now it is a good sign that they did break but they are making a a quick correction to the downside right now we've got a break below the neckline here we've got a lower high we've got a lower low so as for now look for retest and then at least one more toward this area and maybe if they go back inside this old lower range here we might see further downside but for now the least is this area down here and um, on the one hour what we should be looking for is a retest failure if they fail then we look for one more leg to the downside in my opinion gold uh, checking the weekly time frame on gold uh, it is still uh, possible that you may see gold continue higher since there is no break below this area they did a bounce back down there is still some room to the downside but as for now this is holding as support what's not good here is that we have a lower high now and this lower high as well this is not good for the bulls at all so we will see for next week if they will manage to to hold this level otherwise a break below this will signal continuation down toward this area as next target down here we have a little bit of a trouble before that also and that would be this level down here okay so a break here would signal a continuation toward this area and this area 
and oil <coughs> back up again so after this uh, strong move to the downside they found support at the level i mentioned last week and uh, they are um, rotating back up but keep in mind we started a little bit of a micro trend with lower lows and lower highs all the way double bottomed here and then a push to the upside so keep an eye on this area next week if they fail to break above that we might see a rotation back down otherwise that would uh, be a key sign that we might continue higher if they manage to break above this level and remember on the daily time frame we had a huge move to the upside here and it, we, it did um, a mirroring move all the way back down once again so pretty interesting to watch what will happen here next week keep an eye on that level closely on the lower time frame like the four hour and the one hour because a failure to break above it that is a potential sign that we might return back down toward that 95 area and uh, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot see you next video bye bye